Hello, good afternoon everyone. I would like to show you how to make a drip, slow drip irrigator. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, what you need to do is a bottle for, for water, an empty bottle, uh, a box of foam tech. Uh, and some plastic, some balloon, plastic balloon. Uh, uh, with this bottle, with this show, um, uh, we are going to uh, demonstrate how to make, how to home make this slow drip irrigator. Uh, with this uh, slow drip irrigator, you don't need to make another self watering hanger. You automatically you recreate your crown over a uh, long time period. Um, that's the purpose of this exercise. Now, boy, what you need to do is to uncap, remove the cap of this bottle. Fill this empty bottle with water. It does not matter what kind of water you have. For. Uh, it could be a purified water. It can be a water, it can be the water with some fertilizer, liquid fertilizer or solid fertilizer. fertilizer. It doesn't matter. Okay. I think we can do it a little bit more. Okay. Now, right, the next step is to cap the bottle with a balloon. You can cap one more as well. Now, the final step is to punch the bottom of the bottle with two holes, with a foam tag. Punch two holes, so you will drop, you know. This is a so-called slow drip, so drip irrigator. So what you need to do is to place it next to your pan like what I'm doing now. Uh, uh, you will water your pump slowly instead of instantly. Uh, for this bottle, uh, it will take about uh, two days to finish. So if you need to go for a trip, uh, you don't need to worry about uh, if there's anyone uh, can help you to water your pump. Is there anything not clear? Mm -hmm. oh. I have one more question. Uh, most time uh, is uh, you chew the bottle. How big is uh, the bottle? Uh, yes, should be. Yeah, you can chew. You can use use a small bottle. Uh, equally, you can use a big bottle, depending on whether you have enough space to uh, put your bottle in. And uh, also, with this, uh, uh, with this planter, right, you haven't got enough space uh, to break a bottle, small bottle. You to put a large bottle in, right, so the, the only option is to use a small bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, you, you used uh, some needle or what? Uh, uh, so tape. how big uh, the needle? Yeah. 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 Okay. We need the foam tape okay. to punch two holes. At okay, the how big? The, the, the size of the holes uh, uh, should be as small as possible. Uh, how many? Two is enough. Okay. Uh, um, it should be at least two. You cannot just punch one hole. Uh, 
uh, you have to have at least two holes there. You can add some more holes uh, if you want this bottle to drain faster. Now, how fast uh, you will drain so it will depends on how many holes you have got in the bottle and how many balloons uh, you have. Uh, what the purpose of a, to use balloon? Balloon is uh, just uh, balloon. Uh, 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 the purpose of the balloon is uh, to simulate the function of the diaphragm in human beings. Right? In humans, the, di the diaphragm is elastic. When we breathe in, the di diaphragm expand. When we breathe out, the diaphragm contract. By the same token, when, when the waters uh, drip, uh, the air volume here is increased and the diaphragm, the, the balloon will expand. Uh, but after the water, uh, the, after the water comes out, uh, the volume will be back to normal. Uh, the, 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 you will create a, after the water comes out, you will create a bubble which will draw from the bottom of the bottle to the top and the volumes here will become uh, uh, back to normal, stabilized again. Then the balloons uh, will uh, contract again. And this process repeats itself uh, again, again, and again uh, until the whole bottle of water is finished. Thank you very much for your introduction. No, thank you for your support. <laughs>